Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another EDC pouch video for you. And today I thought I'd show you my second EDC pouch that I made up. And I showed you my major one that has all kinds of stuff in it. Everywhere from a sewing kit to you name it. Um, I have it in this one. So, if you missed out on this, um, I just did an update video. I'll leave a card up top. You can go check this one out. But, I decided to make up a very basic EDC pouch that has the main essentials that a lot of it I carry on my person most of the time. But, if I have to run out of the house real quick, and I'm wearing gym shorts or something and I don't have a pocket space or time to grab stuff. I can grab this and take it with me. So we'll take a look at it. This is a Maxpedition Mini. It's the same as this. And you can tell this one is packed right full. I mean look how thick this is compared to how thick I have this one. But I have I don't have anything on the outside of this. If I want, I can stuff my wallet in here. Or I can actually stuff my phone in there if I wanted. But let's take a look what I got. Like I said, this is a basic EDC kit that I can grab going out the door. And I should have the things that I need that I usually have. As you can tell this thing this is kind of full but it's definitely not as full as that one so I guess like before start left go right so first thing I have the Olight i3T good flashlight that's right there then I have the Fisher space pen the right upside down underwater in space type of pen. So I keep that in there. This thing here I just threw in. Thought it might come in handy. I don't usually carry this. But it's a little miniature hacksaw. Small, it's lightweight. I put it in. Um, might come in handy. And here is a tick puller, a tick key. Like I said before, upstate New York, um, past couple years, ticks have been really bad. We're continuing, I don't seem to ever get them on my, myself, but the wife, she'll get them. They'll be on her. The dogs, the terrible on the one dog, the Cocker Spaniel. But something useful to have. I got one in the, the other pouch also. This is just a small screwdriver. It's a Kershaw K tool. It takes a smaller bits. There's five in the handle. Three Torx drivers, a flat head, and a Phillips head. And the Torx are the ones they're what are they six eight and ten so the main ones you need for a knife in case you have to loosen a or tighten a pocket clip or pivot then you get the flat head and Phillips head for anything else <clears throat> now for the pry tool I have the Leatherman Piranha this is one I bought that came in that bundle I bought off eBay I did a video on that also. If I remember, I'll leave a card for that. But this is a pretty neat tool. Definitely got pry on, you know, pry bars or pry tools on it. Bottle opener, couple wrenches. Then you have the driver bit that you can put in its eye, and it doesn't work too bad. You put a little pressure on it, you can definitely turn a screw. There's a couple of wrenches here also. 
So I have that for a pry tool. I could put my um, CRKT Viva that I usually do carry um, in it. And then just attached here is a little bout of hand sanitizer. I have it attached because I could actually just, I could have it hanging out. I can get to it instead of opening everything up. I do that sometimes, but that's where that is. Here, a couple, couple of things. I just have a couple of alcohol wipes. This one's a eyeglass cleaner. I had a couple of Q-tips, one of the flossing toothpicks, a couple of band-aids. Just a little, little tiny first aid kit. Here I have a disposable face mask. An extra one. Right now, still supposed to wear a face mask going out in public. Hopefully, that goes away soon. Down here I have another Zippo tape measure. Now I do, I do EDC one of these almost every day in my pocket. This is another one. Again, I just put a piece of, you know, bicycle inner tube around it to protect the label on it. Um, keep it from wearing off and get some grip. These things are slippery. They're smooth, but this gives good grip to it. Kind of helps it stay in place but six foot ruler um, I'm always amazed every time I whip this out and actually use it it's like there we go glad I had it here I have Leatherman Micra this is the one with the scissors it's got different tools, a little screwdriver, bottle opener again. Um, that's a little Phillips head, flat head screwdriver. It's got a pair of tweezers that, yeah, they might work. Pull something out. Nail cleaner, nail file. Flat head screwdriver. Little, little knife blade. So this is a handy tool. I like the scissors on it. Have a little bigger pair. Then I have the Leatherman Rev. I just did a video on this also. This is Leatherman's budget multi tool they came out with a while back. I think it's discontinued now. I'll leave the card up there if I remember. Um, but you got a decent pair of pliers. Um, you got some basic tools, package opener, clamshell opener, a file, screwdriver, little roller, bottle opener, can opener. Here you got a little better Phillips head, a big flat head that can be used for a pry tool. And the thing with this one, on the outside, everything you got to get to on the inside except for the knife. And it's actually a pretty decent knife. I mean, it's only 420HC or something, but it's pretty sharp. It's about two and a half, 2.6 inches long. So that's the best part of the tool, that and the pliers. So I carry that in there. And then right now I have my Ontario Rat 2. Model 2, D2, the R2-D2. Uh, classic, awesome little EDC knife. I can fit several, quite a few of my knives in here, but I thought this would be the best choice if I had to run out of the house and I wasn't taking, um, you know, my Griptilian. One of the 
That's nice. You can carry have with you. It's definitely a terror rat too. So I have that in there. And then back here, I have a field book. I haven't wrote nothing in it yet, but that's what I have in here. I got the dot grid type. And that's it. That's that's my secondary, my new EDC pouch with just the basics. You know, paper, pen, flashlight, knife, pry tool, multi tool, two multi tools, even a little hacksaw. Because the multi tools don't have a saw in them, um, but easy carry, light, screwdriver with bits to, you know, work on knives, tape measure, which I find real handy, and of course, um, a tick puller, extra mask, little boo boo kit, and that's it. I can just grab this, go. The cellar pouch with everything else in it, I think I'm going to keep in my truck. And um, they'll be close by. We go someplace, need to sew a button back on. Hey, I can do it with that. But this is something that, hey, let's go. We got to go pick up a kid. Their car broke down or something. I can just grab this, go get them. I got stuff to get out of a jam. So, I guess that's it. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment on any of the contents I have in this pouch, what you have in yours. This isn't a survival pouch or uh, urban survival, wilderness survival. It's just a EDC kit. Stuff that a lot of things that I carry every day on my person. I have now in a little pouch. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I guess until next time, bye.